Raleigh police say DNA led to the arrest of a man linked to three rapes in North Carolina. Take a look at the man who is accused of these rapes. This is 46-year-old Kevin Parker, two of those rapes allegedly happening in Raleigh. WRL's Leslie Moreno spoke with a forensic specialist about the case who shared insight on how a match was made years later. Leslie, this is quite compelling. Guys, it starts with a DNA profile that sometimes has to be traced back multiple generations. It's a very lengthy process. It takes a lot of time and research from both forensic experts and local police. Thanks to DNA, Raleigh police were able to arrest 46-year-old Kevin Parker. This past weekend, our fugitive and Teru unit located a and arrested a rapist who had committed three brutal rapes in Raleigh and also Greenville, two in Raleigh and one in Greenville. One of those crimes dating back to 2018. It happened on Beacon Village Drive in Raleigh. To hear that they've been doing this for a while, I mean, it's concerning, but it's not surprising, unfortunately. We spoke to the current owner of the home who says they were in the closing process when they found out about the horrific sexual assaults. I was surprised given what I know about the area, but um, I mostly just felt bad for the previous owner. A 49-year-old woman says Parker broke through a sliding glass door at the house. The victim fought back, but Parker threatened her with a knife, something Leonard thinks about from time to time. This is generally a really safe neighborhood. I don't live alone. I think the previous owner did live alone. The FBI was able to link Parker to a 2006 cold case from Greenville and a third case in 2019 in Raleigh. We're looking for a basically an unknown. What we have is a DNA profile. A forensics genealogist says first DNA is collected from all cases. A profile is then made from all samples. It's run through public databases and then a family tree is made. And what they're trying to do is build a family tree for the suspect and um, Basically, what they're looking for is the right person in the right place in the right time. And what that means is, based on the family tree, where that person fits into that tree based on the matches that they have. Parker is being charged with multiple crimes and additional charges may be brought by the Greenville Police Department. And Parker is being held here behind me at the Wake County Detention Center on a more than $8 million bond. Police are looking for any witnesses who may have witnessed those crimes. If you have any information, you're asked to call police right away. Gerald. Leslie Moreno, live in Raleigh. Thank you.